Hey guys, welcome back. Oh, first of all, I'd like to apologize for the lack of quality of my voice and the previous video. It, it it was atrocious. I know that for a fact, so I apologize deeply, and I hope that you'll forgive me. So, um, yeah, I, I just I just feel really bad. So I'm sorry. We're gonna hop right back into this game, right where we left off. Head over to Dinosaur Planet. Oh, sorry. Nobody likes them bombs. Awesome. Alright, so yeah, once once you get uh, one gold ring, just simply just speed on through this and don't even worry about anything else. Just heading out to the... I mean, you can get a higher score by collecting all the gold rings and destroying as many things as you can. But, I mean, there's really no point. It, you're just doing a competition against yourself. Which is pointless. Da-da-da-da, done. Dun 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 and look see look we made it congratulations ah oh, gotta have me a little bit of a refreshing little moment with me and a glass of Gatorade. Very funny, sir. I know. Now, on to business. By pressing the start button, you will open your communicator. Choose who you wish to speak to, and then press the A button to contact one of us. Each team member will give you Tell you what, Slippy looks so creepy. Shoot first, ask question later. Oh well. <laughs> Not blowing it up. It requires a different tactic. Try using your head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny, sir. Fox out. Hi guys, so welcome to Dinosaur Planet. <sighs> Look at this. We go up and we talk to him, it's just right, so talk. It's pretty funny. But wait, how? Okay, that's a, this is a glitch. They uh shouldn't be able to do that because Slippy hasn't finished the communicator. But oh, look at this! See, once you get out of there, you'll just come right over here to this little flower bed straight from your ship and grab a crystal staff because she dropped it when she was uh you know fighting uh General Scales on the ship. Alright guys, and you'll head over here, be faced with a few sharp claws, and then uh, you gotta go and get your first power up.
Like, oh, that's a big head. Like, what do I do? Oh. Now look, if you hold your joystick in different ways, you'll do different attacks. This is personally my favorite. Because, I mean, that wind up and power and everything, but this is my second favorite. I you mean, you can just play with, around with them and do whatever you want. Of course, you can block. And it won't hurt you. Later in the game, you'll get a uh, force field and you'll be able to do it, and it's really cool. Last one. Kappa. Okay, while I'm heading over there, I'd like to tell you, um, you guys, like, look, earlier today I was just on the web, and I was looking at things for Star Fox, and I came across this very interesting thing, which I will put in the description for this, but it was talking about a Star Fox Adventure 2, which would be freaking awesome, but I don't know if it's true or not, because the last update on it was, uh, said it was going to be released in 2014, in December, and it never was, but I'll let y'all read into the rest of that. So anyways, uh, when you get to a power-up station, your, uh, staff will glow green at first, and you flip over the rock, or you gotta find where you gotta hop down. I knew you come to this big giant underwater thing. Well, not underwater, but you know, underground thing. And you'll just do your thing, you know? Go over here, just walk down the block and collect a few things for you. I'll uh, come and do your power up. This will happen every time when you get a new upgrade. I think there's seven upgrades for your uh, gem, gem energy. And then you have many different uh, attacks that you can do with your uh, you can do with your staff. It's really really cool. And these trees over here, it always seems it's, it's too far away. But these trees right here, you, you just chop, and energy gem falls, and you got some you got your energy. So with this, you can preset an item over here, like I said in the first uh, little bit. And you can just preset it to, uh, to Y, and then use A to fire. And you can just hit B to host, holster the uh, staff. But then you just go on back up. And they'll turn red after uh, you're done with one of them. <sighs> oh, I hate these things! It's so annoying. So annoying. But, anyways. Heading down over here. No, I mean, if you can't hit this, you, you can't hit anything in this game, so you may as well just stop now. But, I'm just saying. So anyways, go down here, you'll speak to the Queen of Walker. Is anybody there? Are you okay? My name is Fox McCloud, and you must be the Queen Earthwalker. No, no, rude, no, can you, way away. I, um... I um, can't understand. I, I can't understand you. Can't understand you. Um, I cannot understand you. Please stop. Did you get that, Slippy? You've got to go to the ice mountain and rescue her son, the Prince Tricky. Nice name. <laughs> okay, lady, I'll bring your son back to you. Uh, can you give me some directions? You've got to talk to that big stone guy. She called him a warp stone. That's all I need to know. I'll be back soon, Queen. Don't you worry. Haven't you finished that translator yet? It's nearly ready, Fox. I just need a bit more time. Slip me out. Alright guys, so from here, 
we're just gonna go and, uh, you know, uh, well, for those of you that don't know, anyways, sorry, I had a moment. Ah, <sighs> it's really, it's really late where I am. It's always gonna be late when I do these videos, guys. So, I apologize for my lack of concentration. But anyways, so, what you gotta do first is, of course, get rid of that thing over here. But, anytime you see these stones with these green little things on them, you want to come over here and you want to press A really fast and you'll come over and you find scarabs. Now scarabs are the type of money in this game and you use them to buy maps and all sorts of kind of items that will help you get through the game. And also um, there are some items that you have to purchase in order to continue. Not all of them are necessary but most of them in a certain part of the store which I will show you at a different later time are very necessary. Now there are different uh, color scarabs and like these right here. These are worth 10, I think. Yeah, and you can only carry 10 at a time right now because you don't have a bigger scare bag. So you'll just go to this place up here, you know. Oh, nope, stop. There we go. There we go, that's what I want to do. And this down here is just uh, the general store where I was talking about. And uh, so you'll go down here, climb up over here, jump. It's called the Thorntail store. I mean, it's totally not a store. I mean, hey, who's knocking? Oh, it's me. Welcome to my store. Feel free to look around. Oh, I uh, stop. Now, in the scatter room. Uh, I'll, I'll explain in just a minute. Uh, okay. Thanks. Now, if you find something that you like, then choose that item, and we'll discuss a prize. Is that clear? Uh, um, 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 are, are you serious? We can discuss a prize. Are, are you bloody joking? Look at you, you're a, you're a haggler, you're a... Hustler? Hustler? Hustler, that's what it is. But basically, she says, oh yeah, you can, uh, you can, you can bargain with me, but you really can't, so sorry guys. But anywho, so, now, what we came in here for is rock candy for, for the, uh, Num, 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 num. Warp stone, which is that big stone looking guy that you saw up there. Now, basically, what you'll do now is go out and you'll uh, go destroy that big puffy yellow riggy, big puffy green thing. Actually, uh, you'll just see it here when uh, I'm gonna get out. But anyways, uh, so, scare room. You can go down there, like, if you have any scarabs at all, like, if you need, uh, let's say, 100 more, and, uh, you're, you're too lazy to go out. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. If you're too lazy to go out and, uh, find, find anymore, you just, basically, just go down there, and it's basically betting. You just bet away, and you, uh, get twice as many twice as many scarabs, I forget which, but we'll play that like once or twice like later in the future and uh, you'll get to see it then, so, alright, let's go, oh and you see those blue things up there that are sparkling, yeah you know, those things up there, you um, you're gonna need to collect the lava, those are uh, the energy orbs and you need those to basically go to every planet, so, over here, I'm just gonna go ahead and plant the bomb, I'm sorry, I'm speeding through all the uh, lickety lag of conversation. So, basically, to make these explode, you can do a ground quake, which you'll get later in the game, or you can just do your. Uh, no, 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 no. You can just do this right here. And you'll hit B for cancel, and you just go in here and you go bye. Oh, no, and you go bye. There you go. Now, you can't kill the dinosaur here, so it's just like whatever. But what you want to go ahead and do is just go ahead and equip your rock candy, and then. You get to go for now. And when you get up here, you'll jump across, you'll hit A. Nobody ever brings me gifts anymore. Mm. 
and I'll say that, and then you just give him the rock candy. I love his accent, guys. It's it's amazing. Help you? Help you? No. no. But you're a warp stone. You're supposed to help. Oh, uh, savage! Right. Light bulb. Let's see if I can remember what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Now, if you push last on the control stick, then I'll send you to one of those warp stone thingies. We'll get back to that in a minute. And if you push forward on the control stick, then you can enter the maze. Now, also, guys, the maze, you can go in there and you can apparently uh, use your cheat tokens that you can get from random places around in the Star Fox world, and it do basically nothing. Never figured out how to use them correctly. So, anyways. It just never works for me. Now this one's a bit special. When you have collected a Crusoe spirit, then push right on the control stick, and I'll send you to Crusoe Palace. Now, you know what I do, so hurry up and make a choice. If not, then press B so I can get back to sleep. Well, selfish much. All right, we're gonna go to Ice Mountain. And yes, I'm very much ready to walk. So this is one of them warp stone thingies. Anyways, uh, yeah. So from here, you'll just go out this door up here and oh yeah a little uh, shortcut It'll probably like, uh, what the heck just happened? Like, um, what, what the heck? Alright, so, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up here, grab one of these time bombs, and remember, remember those normal bombs that we got, um, from the Kurosawa Palace? Well, guess what? Those are timed. They're the ones that have the beeping red thing on top. But, so, what you're gonna do here is you're just gonna come over and destroy these guys. Just change enemies, please. Okay, it won't work. I want also see. This is what you can do. You can just. You can. Oh, we're out of energy. No, we're not. Never mind. Oh well. He's just gonna have to get over it and die. Anyway, since you defeated two people, this will open magically. Just gotta go over there. You gotta do your thing, you know. You gotta take care of your business. Over here. You go pip pip ba doodly do and pop. And you go in here. Can you stop hitting the prince? Like, oh my gosh. Yikes. Oh no. Guys, I forgot to grab that energy right there. Oh well. I'll be able to come back here sometime. Let's get out of it. But uh, one of those cheat tokens is legit back over there to our right. So, what you do here is it's just basically a race. You gotta beat them in front and you gotta cut corners. You gotta destroy them by getting in the front. 
So I'll show you what I basically do. Oh, and they throw bombs out, so if you think you're gonna just wing this and just pass it on the first try and not have a lot of practice and experience, you're dead wrong. You gotta have quite the amount of experience. Oh no, I just lost my chance. Guys, I may have just failed. Because usually that's the one place that you can just pop up and just get right in front of them. There's one of them down. I gotta catch the other one. I think it's only four hits. Look, there's one of their bombs that they place down. And you can't drift in this either, it's just straight out going, oh no, we're not gonna catch up, we're not gonna catch up. I don't wanna have to do this again for y'all. Because I don't wanna cut it out, I just want this to be single takes and I'll just take what you want from it. But I think I'll be able to catch them y'all. This'll be alright, yeah, we got this, we got this, we got this. We got this, we got this. Yeah, I got it guys, don't worry. Oh no 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 I am, I'm gonna try and grab this, there we go. And I think you have to collect about 50 of these to uh, go to the highest, uh, like, the locked place in space. But, oh, wait, I hear another one. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now, I'll do this right for y'all this time so you'll get the correct thing to do and not screw up like I just did. So, like I said, cut corners. Some of them you can cut, some of them you can't. But the main one that you have to cut is the- oh, sh bone. Is this one right here. So you get in front of them down here, and now you just stop right here. Life hack, and it's not a fox hack, you know, that's how that goes. And now you can just cruise your way down, you're not timed or anything. But you may just may as well hurry. So just heading on down cruising life long. We are too better better. If y'all know what song that is, put it in the comments below. But we should be able to finish this right on time, I think. With enough time to spare. Hopefully in some days I'll get two of these videos up a day. I already put one up, but that was a that was a collab. Uh, me and my friend. So, and the good thing is you don't uh, you don't you don't run out of uh, gas or whatever they use energy gems. I don't know. But see, when you come down here now, you just zoom. Oh, and uh, game logic just says that oh they um those sharp claws just respawn and everything, but. Whatever. See, they... Like, I killed you guys, go away. What? He'll be doing any bashing. He's been captured. That's why I've been sent to rescue you. He's been captured? That's right. It was your mother that sent me to find you. Is she okay? Oh. She'll be just fine. But we need to get you home. Alright, guys, and that'll be it for today. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I just really hope that y'all enjoyed this a lot more than the last one. Hopefully the quality is a lot better too. So, uh, peace, enjoy your day, bye-bye.